Welcome back to the channel, to the grind. I think tonight it is time we tackle the longer clubs in my bag, the ones that are most problematic. It's gonna be the two iron, five wood, and driver. So we're gonna do a little practice session with that. First, we're gonna loosen up those. We always do, just a little 56 degree, grabbing a few balls, not really focusing on anything. Just nice smooth tempo, loosening it up. It's finally starting to get a bit warmer out here in Ohio. Um, more videos coming, hopefully hit up hit the course pretty soon. But just loosen it up with a 56 degree. It's nice and smooth. Focusing on the couple of swing thoughts that I do have. Just keeping it nice and slow on the way back. Distinct pause here. Bring to the top, don't overswing. Good pause here. Then on the way through. It's a work in progress, guys. It really is. Slowly but surely getting there. I can do it all day long at the range, right? But as soon as we get out to that course, it could be game over. So be curious to see how it translates over there. It's getting loose. It's always important you go to the range with the plan. Uh, if you go to the description, I have a six week practice plan for you guys. It's only $5. It lays out exactly what you need to do to go to the range. I include three practice sessions per week. So 18 practice sessions total just for $5. It covers all aspects of the game. Go check it out. Uh, I've had some great feedback already. People improving. It's a PDF for you to download. But before we get into the longer clubs, Again, still important to loosen up. You don't want to go right into a driver. So we just got a little seven iron here, aiming it relatively straight. Don't have any alignment six down or anything. But just trying to ease into the tempo. It feels so freaking good. It feels so good. I don't know what it is. I've been hitting balls the past few days and man, the swing has felt silky. It just makes me want to play more. And then I'll go out on the course and go back to my old habits and hate myself. So that's why it's golf, right? Oh boy. I say that right before I just duck hook it. Oh man, that was a tempo thing. Just gotta really be careful with tempo, especially with my long irons and driver. There we go, one more here. Then we'll get into a fun club, the, the old two iron. Now I really do like a two iron over a hybrid. I don't know, I feel like just standing up to the tee with a two iron and a fairway, I feel like there's less room for error than a hybrid. Just personal opinion, but get to that right after this. So straight, I don't know, it's like four out of five straight. It's pretty decent. All right, we'll grab a stick here just to make sure we're hitting it where we want to. And let's, let's aim in this general vicinity here. I'll pick something, one of those signs out there. Looks pretty good. And we have a two iron. This is my Tacoma two iron. Maybe you'll be able to see it here. There we go. It's pretty spiffy. Yeah, I don't really hit this club too much off the ground, but it's a good precursor to like hitting my five wood and not doing well with it. So if we can start hitting the two iron well, a five wood off the ground is pretty similar, right? But let's see what we got here. So just to refresh y'all's memory, I bring it back here nice and slow. I do a little pause, straight up. Don't overswing the backswing, pause, then come on down and through, feeling the chest, getting to about there. And a nice finish for the picture. Let's see what happens. Could all just not do that, but here we go. All right. Better than I thought it was going to go for a swing. So I missed it a little. I missed it a little bit to the right there, but very easily fixable. When I miss it right, I tend to kind of slide forward a little bit. Easy to do with the longer clubs, especially the long irons and a two iron for that matter. It's just focusing on tempo, feeling some more turn here. There we go. It's better. A little fade with the two iron. Not the end of the world. Hit really well. 
two iron goes for me about 250, 260. And I like hitting it off a tee more than the ground. But it's decent in the par fives. Square everything up here. Okay. Deciding to hit a fade with it tonight. Usually, I don't know, the two iron, I hit a, I hit a draw with all my irons. Then when I get to a two iron, it, it kind of switches to a fade and then my, my woods and driver, it's definitely a fade. So some days it likes to draw, some days it doesn't. I don't really try to force it. It's another thing, don't try to force yourself to hit a shot shape you're not comfortable with. One day if it's a fade, just kind of go with it, you know? At least know what you're going to hit before you go out to the course. A couple swings on the range. Like that's money. Almost a dead straight shot. Hey, I'm gonna leave it at that with two iron. Super, super pleased with that to be honest. Usually it's hit or miss and it's kind of cold out so I don't want any stingers in the hands for that matter with the uh, two iron so we're gonna be okay with that now we go into this puppy the old five wood now this thing i the tendency is a little flared out right miss or a massive pull into someone's backyard we want somewhere in between that would be ideal but really i just think i get i get very quick with this club you know, I, I hit it very high and it gets very spinny when I don't make good contact and make a good swing. So what we're gonna do to start here is really just focus on getting it here, pausing, really not going too far in the backswing and just feeling the hip go and the club to follow. That's the goal. See what happens on this first one and then maybe make some adjustments. Okay, there's the pool in someone's yard. I think I know exactly what happened there. I think this is kind of where the problems with my driver start to creep in. I get to the top and then everything starts going left like this. My shoulders, everything. Instead of more so working towards the target and straighter. So let's kind of feel that now. There we go. So what I did there is just felt the shoulders move down this line that I have on the ground some more this way instead of everything just going across. That I think is gonna be a win for me. And yeah, on the course it all goes to, to crap, you know. But at least here on the range, you can focus on it. Let's try it again. Yeah, that's money. Really good. We'll take that shot all day. I noticed too. I so this three wood, it a uh, five wood. I think it's like nineteen degrees or no seventeen degrees, but I turn it down to fifteen, so it's almost like a three wood. I just hit it so darn high. Almost goes higher than the two iron. Okay, let's see if we can replicate that feeling. So that's the one. It goes perfectly straight. Face is slightly open. It's a little spinny. But what I'm really trying to do deliberately tonight is be super slow on the backswing and smooth on the way through and hold the finish. That's the goal. Okay. It's pretty good. I think this swing change is slowly turning into my actual swing. Famous last words though, right? Okay. Going to the driver, my worst club in the bag at the moment. It could be such a weapon if I could just hit it straight. Try to hash it out. All right, same targets now. 
a little bit different of a setup obviously with the driver but same fundamentals in terms of everything else Let's see what happens i'm gonna really try to be deliberate here oh man okay actually i forgot it's one of those where my brain just went blank and i swung but i really want to feel my shoulders and everything go straight down the line that was more straight left hence why i went left but let's see if we can clean that up real fast here there we go okay not sure if you guys can see it on the screen or not i know it's not quite dark enough here but it's staying light out for longer, which is great for getting some holes in. Okay, maybe I won't hate this club anymore. I feel scared every time I take it out of my bag. If I could, the way I'm hitting my irons right now, if I could just put this driver somewhere in play on the map, not in the water, not in someone's backyard, that would be so great. I feel like it could actually be a golfer this year if that's the case. But here we go. Nope. That's no good. It's honestly kind of hard for me to see the ball right now. It's that time of day where it's tough. Okay, let's go. Good swing here. Let's go. Good deliberate practice here. There we go. It's not Russia. It's be nice and easy. That was hit really well. I'm honestly just excited to get out to the course, if I'm being honest. Everything's headed in the right direction. Last time on the course, short game seemed okay, but we're getting somewhere. Hope you guys enjoyed this little practice session. If you want to check out my six-week practice plan, it's in the description for you guys. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys out here real soon.